Good evening and thank you for joining us for the 34th annual Scholar Champion Award Celebration. We understand this year's celebration looks a bit different, but we know how important it is for us to be together, united in our love of sport and in recognition of your tremendous dedication. We have more than 550 Scholar Champions at Washington University, and you represent a core component of our academic mission. I often reflect on your journeys and words like commitment, resilience, strength, and determination come to mind. You strive to represent the best of WashU as you seek to win championships in the classroom and in your respective arenas. While nothing can remove the disappointing aspects of this spring, we can come together this evening and celebrate the many accomplishments and moments of joy experienced during the 2019-2020 year. I want to give a special shout out and thanks to the coaches, athletic trainers, sports performance professionals, and athletic administration team for your diligent leadership and commitment to our athletics mission of building community, developing champions, and impacting lives. And to our student athletes, thank you. Thank you for digging deep and leading through this time with as much grace and resiliency as ever before. Thank you to our seniors. We know you have worked in many cases since childhood to reach the height of your athletic careers and we know for seniors of our spring sports and winter sports that were still competing, these dreams were cut short. We also know that part of sport is responding to challenges with grace, and I'm incredibly proud of how you have represented WashU this spring. I have every confidence you will continue to rise to the leadership calls of your coaches and teammates and continue to lead with grace. We must continue to find moments for connection and celebration, and I look forward to celebrating this wonderful evening with all of you. Go Bears. Thank you, Chancellor Martin, for that warm welcome. We are extremely appreciative for your continued support of our coaches, our staff, and especially our scholar champions. To the Bears who are tuning in tonight, you are sorely missed. I miss seeing you in the hallways, observing you in practices, seeing you across campus, and especially when you're competing with your teammates. This has been tough. But what I keep being reminded by is that we will get through this together. As a former student athlete, I can't even imagine having a whole season taken away. So I want to send my condolences, especially to our winter sports and our spring sports student athletes. And to our partners on campus who have really leaned in to help us with this event to try to provide a silver lining during these challenging times. One partner in particular that I consider more than a peer, more than an employee, more than a boss, my friend, Dr. Lori White. You will be extremely missed. I understand you'll only be a phone call away, but it's almost like losing your favorite coach. I really appreciate you playing a strong role in my life, and not only bringing me here, but provide me the proper guidance and support to make sure I never lose sight of what's most important, which is a student athlete experience. As Chancellor Martin indicated, tonight will be a little bit different beyond being virtual. Tonight, we will be focusing less on the performance-based awards and more on and in the areas of our mission which is building community, developing champions, and impacting lives. In addition to that, we will also be recognizing the Mark Edwards and Nancy Faye Leadership Awards, and one award that I'm most proud of that we established last year, which is the Chancellor's Award for Student Athlete Excellence. Before we get into our awards of building community, developing champions, and impacting lives, I wanna welcome a colleague who's the Associate Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs and Dean of Students, Rob Wild, who will be announcing the recipients of the Hayes and Drew Awards. Enjoy the show. Good luck the rest of the semester. United, we will get through this together. <laughs> Go Bears! Hello Bears! I'm here this evening with my daughter, Jane, and my son, Joe. We're thrilled to be with you. Before we announce the winners in the categories of building community, developing champions, and impacting lives, I want to announce this year's award recipients for both the Alfred Hayes and Drew Awards. 
First, the W. Alfred Hayes Award is presented to outstanding senior student athletes who by personal example have provided constructive leadership at Washington University. Winners have demonstrated excellence as student athletes as well as leadership on their team or in the WashU community. The 2020 honorees are John Brinkman, baseball, Emily Carnes, golf, Anna Cassio, women's cross country and track and field, Johnny Davidson, football, Olivia Emanuel, women's soccer, Christian Henry, football, Paige Lawler, women's cross country and track and field, Nick Matucci, men's cross country and track and field, and Bernardo Nevis, men's tennis. Woo, congratulations to all of you. All right, now it's time to announce the Drew Award winners. The Drew Awards are given to the senior student athletes with the highest grade point averages. This year's recipients are Emily Carnes and Nick Matucci. Congratulations, all right. Bears, I'm so happy I was able to join you this evening. I'll be back shortly to announce a recipient in our building community recognitions, but I would like to take a moment to introduce you to someone very near and dear to the WashU community. Over the past five years, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Dr. Lori S. White has invested so much in our student experience. You could often see her cheering you on from the stands, encouraging students to wear their WashU swag and leading hundreds of colleagues in our school song. While Dr. White will be transitioning to become the first African-American and first female president of DePaul University in Indiana, her impact on the Danforth campus and our Department of Athletics will be felt for years to come. It is my pleasure to welcome our Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Dr. Lori S. White. Thank you, Rob. And before I introduce the next category, Building Community, I wanted to say thank you to the Bear Nation for all the support you've provided to me in my five years as the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. I've absolutely loved the opportunity to cheer on our scholar athletes and our coaches, and we have the absolute best athletic department in the entire country. I hope you know that even when WashU comes to DePaul to play the DePaul Tigers, I'm gonna figure out a way to pin some green and red uh, on my outfit so I can secretly continue rooting for the Bears. And I hope that whenever you're traveling on I-70 from St. Louis to Indy, you'll get off the highway and come visit me at DePaul. And now the first honoree for the category of building community, Jack Besser from the baseball team. Congratulations, Jack, and thank you for all that you have done to build school spirit and traditions at WashU. Jack consistently showed himself to be an exemplary teammate, a respected mentor, and a prideful ambassador for WashU athletics. Roles that strengthen bonds, not only within our baseball team, but within our student athlete body and the greater WashU community as a whole. Additionally, his dedicated service in such organizations as Student Athlete Advisory Council, YMCA Coaches for Kids, and Bear Cubs was instrumental in motivating many of his teammates to sacrifice some of their time to impact the lives of others as well. Hello, Rob Wild again. I have to say, when I was an undergraduate at Washington University, I was a rower, so I could not have been really any farther from the golf course as a crew athlete. But it is awesome to announce our second building community honoree, Emily Carnes. Congratulations, great job. Emily Carnes is passionate about helping others. She cares about the community around her, whether it's her team, her friendships through natural ties, and the larger WashU campus. Emily is a thoughtful and caring member of our team and campus, and we are so thankful for how she has left a lasting mark on our program and community. Hello Bears, and thank you so much for inviting me to join you this evening. Statistically speaking, I know that it is well beyond the margin of error when we talk about the powerful influence of sports, which is why I am positively psyched to announce Bernardo Neves as the next honoree for Building Community. Bernardo was a dream, Scholar champion, from day one he stepped foot on the Danforth campus. I can say with certainty he was as prepared of student athlete as I've ever coached in my 19 years at WashU. Good evening. I'm Cheryl Mauricio, Associate Dean for Student Conduct and Community Standards. 
My family and I really enjoy rooting on the Bears, which makes this opportunity to be with you tonight very special. I'd like to introduce the next honoree for men's soccer, Isaac Pulitzer. What do you say? Go Bears. Go Bears. Isaac Pulitzer is unassuming, respectful, accepting, inclusive, motivated, positive, self-starter, among other things. His being Isaac built community in our team every day for four years. Bears, I miss seeing all of you compete and I look forward to cheering you on in the future. To round out the category of building community, our last honoree is Marco Coroni. Congratulations. Marco Coroni helped build community through selflessly taking pictures at every sporting event on campus and sometimes off. Marco took his talent and passion for photography and used it to give back to the campus by helping capture special moments for different teams on campus. Good evening, Bears family. It's been a great honor to serve as your faculty rep to athletics over the last few years. I've seen a great display of athleticism and scholarship by all the student athletes, or as you like to say, scholar champions. So it's with great pleasure that I introduce our first nominee and winner of the Developing Champions Award, uh, Paige Lawler. Congratulations, Paige. What I'm most proud of Paige Lawler for is not winning an individual NCAA title or helping our team win an NCAA team title. What I'm most proud about Paige Lawler for is the way she rallied around her teammates and pitched in to help with menial tasks at practice when she had to miss the majority of her junior track season due to injury. Hey Bears, it's Michael Chainsaw Chapin from the Career Center. I certainly miss seeing you guys around and wanted to let you know that I'm still available for any career related coaching that you might need. The next recipient for the developing champions is Devon Rucker. Congratulations and go Bears. Devon Rucker's growth on and off the court led to his playing an instrumental role on our UAA championship team. His tireless work ethic and acceptance of coaching allowed him to achieve his full potential. Hello, Scholar Champions. My name is Robin Hadley from the Division of Student Affairs. And as a former college basketball player, I'm here to congratulate Christina Schmelter for developing champions. Congratulations. As a senior, Christina Schmelter was a daily example of hard work, focus, consistency, and perseverance this season. Through the highs and lows of our season, Christina remains steady, positive, encouraging, and hardworking. Not only are these habits of a champion, but she served as a great example to our young team for what it takes to be a champion. We are so thankful for all Christina Schmelter gave Washi Women's Basketball. Hello everyone, my name is Kirk Dewar. I am the Associate Vice Chancellor for Student Support and Wellbeing and Student Affairs. And while I fill up to most competitions, I have a feeling that the next honoree would swim laps around me. From our swimming and diving team, congratulations, Molly Seidner. Molly Seidner's ability to balance expectations in the classroom and in the water set a bar for our team over the last four years. She kept our team grounded, hungry, and focused on being our very best. Hi Bears, I'm Christy Livingston, the Manager of Financial Operations for the Division of Student Affairs. It's terrific to be with you to announce the last recipient in the category Developing Champions from softball, Amy Walsh. Amy Walsh was always pushing herself to be the best she could be both on and off the field. She thrived on competing and embraced the challenges that each practice and competition presented.
down and in the back of the net. Washington gets an early lead. I guess that was Wolf. Paul Clark, can she get to it? Loose ball. Paul, can she get a shot away? Goes to her left, shoots, and it's in the back of the net. Washu scores and wins it. 151. Washu has a chance here. The cross and the boot and a score. Mark Edwards Leadership Award was created in 2019 and is presented annually to the male student athlete who best demonstrates attitude, character, and leadership within his team. The 2020 Mark Edwards Leadership Award goes to this year's men's cross country track and field athlete, Nick Matucci. Congratulations, Nick. Nick Matucci has been a true servant leader by always looking to help, support, encourage, and pour into those around him. His love for people is obvious by the activities he chooses to pour himself into outside of running and school. He helps lead the team Bible study and assists with Bear Cubs, both of which I see give him great joy and purpose. 
The Nancy Fay Leadership Award was created in 2018 and is presented annually to the female student athlete who demonstrates attitude, character, and leadership qualities within her team. This year's winner for the 2020 Nancy Fay Leadership Award is women's soccer player, Taylor Cohen. Congratulations, Taylor. Taylor Cohen finds a way to bring joy to any situation. She is a fierce competitor and has been a major impact in 70 plus wins. But more importantly, she is an amazing friend, teammate, daughter, and leader that makes your day better with a smile and a kind sentiment. Hi everyone, this is Ellie Davis from the admissions office and it is my pleasure to be with you to announce the next honoree from swimming and diving, Peyton Wilson. Peyton Wilson had an infectious competitive spirit in both practices and meets. He thrives on racing and his grit and energy brought the level of excitement in the pool and the weight room to a fever pitch. The next award winner for Impacting Lives is Women's Tennis Scholar Champion, Sanjana Tripathi. Congratulations. Sanjana Tripathi has embraced all the qualities and attributes of what being a Wash U Bears Scholar Champion embodies. From the moment Sanjana chose to be a bear, she has chosen to impact the lives of those around her in the medical world, in the classroom, on the tennis court, and in our Wash U community, St. Louis community. Without any need for credit or fanfare, Sanjana selflessly has impacted the lives around her as she has a passion to support others and to make a difference in the world. Hello, Bears. As we wrap up the awards for impacting lives, I wanna take a moment to thank you for your outstanding contributions to the Wash U community. Your commitment and dedication are truly inspiring. And now for the final honoree in the area of impacting lives, Eka Jose. Congratulations, Eka. Eka Jose impacts everyone around her through her gentle spirit while still being a fierce competitor. I watch the way she supports her teammates and seeks to affirm them instead of seeking out the limelight for herself as a true embodiment of what it means to be a part of something bigger than yourself. The Chancellor's Award for Student Athlete Excellence was created in 2019 to recognize the student athletes who have best demonstrated and been recognized for academic achievement, school and community leadership, and athletic performance. I am thrilled to present the 2020 Chancellor's Award as a co-award. Quite simply, these two individuals have gone above and beyond to provide critical guidance and support to their coaches, teams, peers, and our athletic administration team. Furthermore, their leadership has restructured the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, an integral component of our athletics department. Congratulations to this year's co-award winners for the Chancellor's Award for Student Athlete Excellence, Johnny Davidson and Hannah Turner. Johnny Davidson is the ultimate teammate. Whether he steps on the field or into a room, he makes everyone else better. His servant leadership and intense competitiveness allow him to be a leader in a school where leaders abound. Hannah was a great leader for our team and for all of the athletes as this year's co-president of SAC. She is organized, a hard and diligent worker, is constantly positive, and has the ability to guide others towards a common goal. Thank you for joining us this evening as we celebrated all of you during the 34th Annual Scholar Champion Award Celebration. We conclude this evening with a special video highlighting the tremendous journey of being a Scholar Champion at Washington University. To our seniors, thank you, thank you, thank you. And remember, once a bear, always a bear. Dear Bears Nation, a story is supposed to have a beginning, middle, and end. The beginning hooks you in, the middle builds tension, the end resolves it all. But what do you do if the end never happens? What happens if just when the story is getting good, you find that the rest of the pages are torn out? What are you left to do? You wonder about the what ifs, the what could have been's for a while. You're left to write the last chapter yourself. How do you write the ending for a story that never got told? For me, I like to go back to the beginning. Four years ago, these doors opened for the first time. Seniors, 
You were the first class through this facility. It was here where you wrote the beginning of your story. It was early mornings in the weight room after late nights of studying. It is here where you bonded with teammates, where traditions were set. It was here where you made lifelong memories for Gavin, Connor, and Chloe, who are now forever members of the Bear family. It was here where you defined what it means to be a scholar champion. To our three seniors, Ricardo, JJ, and Bernardo, you did an outstanding job this season on and off the court at the forefront of our men's tennis program at WashU. You guys knew the way, went the way, and led the way for our team. Our senior class navigated the windy path of success with respect, integrity, and class. They are truly scholar champions. Our only senior maximized her experience as a bear. Greek life, internships, study abroad, work, basketball championships, NCAA tournaments, and many academic awards. This is what it means to be a scholar champion. Being a bear volleyball player means you understand that you are a part of something bigger than yourselves. Zoe, Hannah, Leela, and Chloe understood that and were an incredible example to the rest of their teammates. Our swimming and diving senior class has set a high bar of excellence for all of us. Tremendous work ethic, spirit, and closeness. They have truly left an indelible mark on the WashU family. I am so grateful to have had the opportunity to coach these four women throughout their time at WashU. I am confident they will continue to impact lives as their journey evolves. Sanjana and Zoe's senior leadership as captains has included the values of selflessness, integrity, respect, kindness, and support. Passionate, committed, difference makers, headed for big things. We believe good teams have good players, but great teams have great teammates. The men's basketball senior class personified our one-fist ethos, both on and off the court, every single day. On the course, our seniors helped us to compete at a high level nationally while providing guiding leadership for our young squad. Both of them have left an indelible mark on our campus as students, athletes, teammates, and friends to many. As one of the winningest classes in WashU baseball history, and with a collective GPA of 3.7, our eight seniors will be remembered most for their relentless and united pursuit of excellence. Our 22 football seniors leave a prolific legacy, winning the UAA, SAA championships, going to the playoffs, and transitioning the program into the CCIW. They were bonded by being good teammates and high achievers and making our university better. This senior class of young men has left an indelible mark on our program, not only through elite performances, but what it means to impact the lives of those around them and leave prepared to positively impact the world. These young ladies demonstrated a relationship-focused servant leadership approach that continued to build up the program as a family. These young women continued the tradition of leaving the program better than when they found it. Seniors, this story may not have had the end you expected, but the chapters you wrote over the last four years mark your legacy. Your pages are forever written in WashU history because of the impact you made on the Bear family. Your legacy will influence the narrative of every story that is to come. They say the best leaders cast a light for those to come to step into. And to all of our seniors, your light is far-reaching.